Melissa. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing, you guys know, BoxyCharm and Ipsy bag. I got my subscription services. They came within a day of each other, which is always exciting for me because as you know, or you may not know, I wait until I get them to know what's in them and when I have both of them, I sit here live and open them right on camera for you so you see my genuine reaction to if I'm excited or not excited to what they are. Um, yeah, Ipsy came first. Let's get into it, if you're not familiar, while I open this. Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription service where you receive five to six sample size items. There's usually one full size item in the bag that you also get with it. And I will have a link down below. I do earn points if you sign up through me. Just want to be honest about that. And you can get more information or sign up. Okay. So the first thing in here, as soon as I open it up, was I actually redeemed my points that I've earned this month, and they had a killer deal. I've never seen them. I've been with them for over a year now, and I've never seen this kind of deal. They had, for a certain amount of points, 1,000 maybe? I don't remember. That you could get the new, not even released yet. Actually, as of today, it is released. Yeah, as of today, it's released. I'm just checking my calendar. But when I got this, it was not even released yet. This is the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Full size. Guys, that's incredible. What an incredible deal that was. The only hard part was they didn't have the whole um, shade selection on there, and it was really kind of tricky because this hasn't been out. It wasn't you know available for me to see swatches of or anything, so I was really nervous about the... Um, the shade on it. So I went lighter than I thought I should just because I was nervous. I didn't want it to be too dark. So let me see. It has a pump. It's in like a glass jar. It has a really pretty frosted pump. And let me see. Okay. So that's it there. It might be a little, it looks a little yellow, but maybe when I blend it, it's not too bad. It looks a little bit yellow. Anyway, super excited to give that a try. The, oh, I got it in the shade Vanilla. Did I say that? That's in the shade Vanilla. So I will definitely give that a try. I'm super excited. If you want to see a review on this, I know everybody's doing them right now because it's like the brand new foundation. But if you want to see a review, leave a comment down below and let me know and I will be sure to do that. So that is that. Let me get that box back in. All right, and now into the bag. Okay. So has a little card in here. The theme this month is swim into beauty and they posted a lot of stuff about like mermaids and ocean and stuff I guess because it's summertime, it's June. So salt in the air, sand in our hair, cue the lifeguards because summer will be five times the fun when you dive into these beauty must-haves for June. So there you have it right there. This bag actually it's it looks similar to another bag we have because it's all black, but this actually says like Ipsy all on it, which the other bag didn't. The back doesn't, just this I did. And it's like a weird kind of material. Like, um, it feels like it might be waterproof, but I don't know. And then it has like a hot orange coral zipper with the logo on it. All right, let's get into here. I'm just gonna dump it out. As always, if I can, I will have the prices up here. Typically it will be the full size prices because it's hard to figure out the sample size prices. Okay, first thing I got in here, this is the NYC, not NYX, NYC. This is at Drugstore's Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in black. So this is a full size, looks like this. These are super inexpensive, but I've actually heard really amazing things about this product. Like, I've heard people really love this. So I've never used it. I'm excited to give it a try. It looks like a felt tip kind of pen. Should we break into it? Yeah, let's break into it. Okay. So, oop. I kind of want to take it. It came out with a lot of product on it, which just kind of makes me a little bit nervous. So it's like a brush. I thought it was going to be more like a felt, but it's almost like a brush. It's very black. There it is right there. So I'm excited to give it a try. The brush ones kind of make me nervous. Um, but I will give it a go. So that's that. Okay. Next is this Tristique Mini Eyeshadow Crayon in Kona Coffee. This is really adorable. Do you see this? It's like a little pencil. And it pops open and then it twists up. Wow. 
That's really creamy and it's like a really dark brown, like super duper dark brown. That would go with my eye look today. <laughs> super dark brown. I'm excited to try that. I almost would like if it was in a lighter shade, but that'll be pretty. I, I like this packaging, super cute. I don't know if that's full size or not. I will check. Okay, next is this Liptitude, Liptitude 24 seven hydrating lip stain. Do you have a shade? 15 bead, so it looks like this. See it? Oh, and it's like a mini, it smells like peppermint, like straight up peppermint. It has like a skinny doe foot applicator and it's a lip stain, so it's a really pretty color. Good color for summer. This reminds me of one we've already gotten. I like when you pull it up, it actually like cleans it off. So there's that lip stain. That's a really pretty color. I would put it on, but I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I like what's on my lips today. So that's pretty. Oh, sorry guys, itchy nose. Okay, then I got three masks, which that's exciting. These are the Bio Republic, um, and there's, there's three different kinds. So they feel like sheet masks, are they? Yeah, all three of them are sheet masks. And I like that they give you three of them, like not just one that they give you three kinds. So this is Cucumber Breeze. It says soothing fiber mask with vitamin E for all skin types. Dermatologist text tested and paraben free. So this is for calm, rejuvenated, spring fresh skin. So that's that one. Next is the Aloe Rescue. Same deal. This is for healthy, revitalized and lush skin. So this provides hydration, soothes dry skin. So that looks like that. And then the last one is the Green Tea Detox. This is the Purifying Fiber Mask. And this is for clean, supple, and refined skin. Provides a boost of antioxidants, helps remove excess sebum. Sebum? Okay. So cool, so that's the Detox one. So that's really neat, I'm excited to try those. Sheet masks are like weird to me, but I do like trying them, so that's really exciting. And then the last product, which I'm excited and disappointed all at the same time, when they released a sneak peek of what was coming in the bags, they released this product, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Too Faced Melted Lippies or melted liquefied lipsticks. I love those lipsticks. I have a few of them and I absolutely love them. And I was really hoping to get that because they did that before and I didn't get it that time either. So twice now they've put that in bags and I haven't gotten it. What the heck, Ipsy? I love that product, send it to me. So I'm hoping that they do it again and I can get it because I just don't think that that's fair because it's such an amazing product. And so many of my friends, oh, rant, so many of my friends have said the same thing, that they really want to try it, and they didn't get it either. So, come on, Ipsy. If you sent it out once before, you should send it to those who didn't receive it the first time. This is a great primer. I actually really love this primer. I've had a sample of it before, and I really like it. So I'm not dissatisfied with this. I just really wish that I got that <laughs> Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipstick, especially because it was the second time that they sent it out, and I didn't get it. And rant. Smashbox primer. Really like it. Decent bag. Decent bag for Ipsy. I mean, it didn't blow me away, but there are a few things that I'm really excited about, and I think they were really, um, I think the lip color is really pretty, so I'm excited to try that. I just wish this was in a lighter color, but I do kind of like the, the application type of it, like the format of it, I guess. Okay, moving on. Move on. Enough ranting. Next is my BoxyCharm. If you are not familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a $21 a month subscription service um, where you get five full-size products. So it's $9 more than Ipsy, but you are getting all full-size products as opposed to um, mini sample size. And this, I don't know if this is full-size. This may be full-size too. So that may have had a few full-sizers in it. I don't know if this is. We'll check, I'll check, I'll have it up here. I'll make note if it was the full size or not. Okay, on to my BoxyCharm. Link down below if you want more information or if you want to sign up, except right now as I'm filming this, their website is down for referral links, so um, I will note that down below. If you can't sign up through there, I'm really sorry. Just go to BoxyCharm.com and I won't earn any points, so what is? Okay. This box is called C'est La Vie, and I always find it so interesting because I always find that their boxes are very similar. So I wonder, 
wonder why. I wonder if they work together or if there was like a leak. Is there a leak? Okay. See life's beauty. Charmers sail away with us as we take time to coast the open waters for adventure. Don't get tied down, like tied, like the shore, tied shore, shore tied. Anyway, let the sea set you free just as life should be. Really pretty card. And of course they list all the products on the back with their pricing on there. So there's a coupon in here for um, some beads, some bracelets and whatnot. So there's a code off of those, but I don't even know if that's in here, so that's weird. Okay, to start, the first thing I grab in here is this little brush. This is from Bella Pierre, which is always in these. This and like Ofra are always in these subscriptions. And this is the Kabuki brush. This is full size, and this is $29.99. Are you guys ready for this? Look at this brush. So it's soft, but let me just show you. This is the e.l.f. Kabuki brush, and it is $6. Look at the difference. Like, this is a baby. This is a baby brush for $30. I think that's crazy overpriced. Um, I think this should be $6. It says it's made of 100% synthetic fibers, and I don't mind having it. I mean, it's fairly soft, but I don't think that's worth $30. This is my opinion. Next, we have this NCLA Nudes Nail Polish. And this retails for $16. NCLA has been in here um, before. So, um, I like their nail polishes. It's a really pretty nude color. It's like a mauve nude. And this is in the shade Volume 4. I have like a nail polish on but it's like a mauvey pinky kind of nude like it's not like a tan nude or it's like that mauvey like a purple undertone so that's a super pretty color I would think for summer they would do like a bright color but I guess like sand and ocean it's like a natural color maybe I don't know okay next we have this from the beauty crop lightning crew highlighting cream and this is full size, this is teeny, but they said this is full size and this is $16. So let's get this open. What do you do? Is an oil-free lightweight highlighting cream that adds a healthy luminous glow, packed with vitamin C and powerful antioxidants like pineapple and green tea. This highlighting cream will like, accentuate and highlight your best features while nourishing and brightening your skin. So it's a highlighter cream, ooh. I'm gonna swatch on this hand. It's like a bronzy gold. This is a heavy swatch. Can you see? I know, guys, I know. Well, there it is. So it's pretty. It's like a, it almost looks like a rose gold type color, but when you blend it out, oh, it's really beautiful. I don't know. Let me see if I do it this way. Can you see it? Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder it's pretty definitely pretty and I don't really have a lot of um, actually I don't have any um, cream highlights right now so that's pretty and I think you'll even though it's small I think you'll get a lot of uses out of it because you don't need a lot like if you're gonna apply it right here you really only need a tiny bit so it's definitely beautiful like really pretty on the hand okay so that's cool I don't think that's worth $16 but maybe it is who knows, maybe it's amazing. Next is Click Click Lipstick. I don't know the brand, but it's $24. Let's see. Oh, it looks like this, did I show you? <laughs> it's in the shade 809. Do say is the shade? Oh, oh, okay, that's really interesting. I didn't know how to get it out. So this is what it looks like, and then when you push the bottom, did you hear it click? Then this comes out. That's kind of neat. So here's the shade. It's a pretty color. It, it's pretty. There it is right there. 
it's like a natural, like a, like a your lips but better type color. And that's what it looks like, like your lips enhanced. I don't want to say your lips but better. Your lips enhanced. And then you just snap it back in. That's really cool packaging, but it, it feels a little cheap. But it's cool. Make sense? I'm weird today. I'm like really mean about my stuff. All right. And the final thing in this box. Yes, final thing. This is the Eslor Chlorophyll Lifting Mask, and this retails for $38. So this is paraben-free, and it's a chlorophyll lifting mask. This mask is made up of natural milk proteins, plant extracts, seaweed extracts, and minerals that tighten the skin, help enhance blood circulation, and diminish fine lines. Your skin instantly appears luminous and noticeably firmer. So... It's all like a lot of, whoa, it's green. <laughs> I guess chlorophyll, that makes sense. Oh, I know that scent. This is like a scent when I go to the spa or when I go to like get my eyebrows done. That's what it smells like because I go to like a spa to get it done. So it's, oh, I should show you. See, it's green. <laughs> this is $38. Oh, I don't want to tip it too much because it'll all come out. Um, it's not a huge size, to be honest. There's not a lot in there for this being full size, but that's cool. I always love kind of trying these mask stuffs, so I'm really excited to give that a go. I will have the everything, the total cost of the box listed up top, and like I said, which you've probably seen, all the prices were listed up there. These were both kind of like, meh, they were good. They were good stuff in each of them. I'm not disappointed in either of them. I just really wish I got that. Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipstick. Ipsy, next time, send it, thanks. Anyway, love these. Let me know what you got in your subscriptions. Do you get Birchbox? Let me know what you got down below or let me know if you liked your Ipsy or BoxyCharm this month. As I mentioned, links for both of these are down below if you're interested in signing up, assuming that the BoxyCharm link is working because it hasn't been. I had people want to sign up and they can't because the link's not working. Come check me out on Facebook, come say hi, you can see what I'm up to, whether I'm filming, whether I got my boxes in, whatever the case may be, just come say hello to me. The link is down below, it's just facebook.com slash makeupmini83. Come check me out, say hi. Please give this video a giant thumbs up if you like unboxings and you love subscri subscription services. If you are not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you did so you can be up to date on all my videos. I have some fun ones planned, which I feel like I say all the time, but I really do. I do. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.